everyone. I've got some reflections today about change. It's in the context of a book. It's not about the coach. And I'm busy putting together a three-part introduction online course. Um, so one of the things that's come out from that is that when people come into coaching, they might be even really ready for change, up for change, which is great because that's, you know, that's part number two, that's chapter number two, it's so, so important. And what I find there is sometimes people haven't got both kind of barriers set for them in terms of where they need to go. And I say barriers in the words, not to limit them, but just to guide them. So it's kind of just parallel thoughts, really. And the question here is, what can you be free from and free for? So people don't really get that. They want to be free from something. You want to be free from feeling nervous when I present. Okay, that's what you be free from. What do you want to be free for? You know, that's the kind of positive, the negative and positive. Well, I want to be free for speaking confidently and fluidly, making an impact. Okay. Any change has to have both. So many people hit rock bottom in certain things in life and relationships, and they realize what they want to get away from. They want to get away from that. But what you want to get to, that's the other thing. And then you've kind of got these two kind of barriers or parallel lines of thought to help you with that. So it's a big problem I see in coaching where people do come with a change, it's not a skillful approach to change. And I'll talk a bit more about that on my uh, introduction course, um, which is an online program. 